I well, you know, consider myself part of Joan's family. You know, I actually have her ashes at, at my house. My shitty little house in North Hollywood, I have some of her ashes. Melissa brought them to Fashion Police in a little Ziploc baggie, like it was some kind of a drug deal. It's like I have a dime bag of Joan Rivers. <laughs> And it was just, I don't know if you've ever seen ashes. I had never seen ashes. So it's like gray bits of like sand and little chunks of like bone or something. I don't know why. I expected it to just be like loose noses and rhinestones or something, but it's not. But anyhow, the point is, uh, I, you know, I'm part of Joan's family. I love Joan. Joan loved me. Joan knew Joe Posa. She saw Joe do the act. So just know this is okay tonight. Joan is here with us. If Joan knew we were doing this show, she would smile or at least try to. And <laughs> I was a little warm and I'm sweating like Whitney Houston at customs. Look at this. <laughs> I want to bring to the stage a special guest star, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Celine Dion! <laughs> Don't make jokes about Celine Dion, she just buried her grandfather. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! But you're, but you're wonderful. But New York, I lived on 62nd and 5th Avenue, and it was great. But the only drawback to my apartment was I had Korean neighbors. And are there any Koreans in the room before I go? Check under your chairs, they're very short. I mean, <laughs> Korean neighbors, and they, and they eat fucking dog. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. They said, Joan, take it out of the act. We don't eat dog. We don't eat dog. And there's a leash hanging from her mouth. True. They eat fucking dog. It's like, what's her name? Margaret Cho, who's doing vaginalities with Tony. She's fucking Korean. She invited me over for Thanksgiving dinner, and the turkey had a frisbee in his mouth. I mean, they eat fucking dog. I don't know. She's so stiff, Gwyneth Powell. She never talks to me. Gwyneth, I'm Gwyneth Powell. She's always in a bad mood. Gwyneth Powell. She's more wooden than Betty White's first dildo. I mean, it's like... <laughs> yes! And take the money and do something with your face. I don't care how good of a blowjob you do. Pretty soon they look up. I don't care. <laughs> I never fucking like it. Princess Diana. Never. Oh. I know. I'm going to tell you why. Never like Princess Diana. She never, she always complained, Princess Diana. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Princess, uh, she had everything. She was thin. She was gorgeous. She had two normal children. She had a husband that did not want to sleep with her. She had everything. <laughs> everything. And she had a fucking crown. Do you have any class reunion? She can go to. How you doing there? I check my hat. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I had a Jewish delivery. You know what this is? Yeah, they knock you out of the first pain and they wake you up when the hairdresser shows. It's fabulous. I knew nothing. They said to me, Miss Rivers, you had a girl. Good, good. <laughs> is it healthy? Yes, good, good. <laughs> is it white? Yes, good, good. <laughs> the marriage will continue. <laughs> Everybody twins, and I thought, I love technology. I know it's difficult, but I love it. I thought, wouldn't it have been great if we had Twitter in the old days? Can you imagine, like, what's her name? If we had uh, uh, Joan of Arc, Twitter. Do you smell smoke, too? Is it just me? <laughs> or, you know, Amelia Earhart. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> or remember the singer. Who was the singer? Uh, Mama Cats. For lunch today, should I have a salad or a sandwich? <laughs> Good. But my favorite one is what's her name? Rosa Parks back in the day. I think today I'll sit in the front of the bus. <laughs> Hashtag, what the fuck could go wrong? <laughs> Mother the China is like Newark, New Jersey. Men know it's there, but nobody wants to visit. No! <laughs> Mine is so dry, I took a bath before the show and all the water went. <laughs> <laughs> And in that moment, I thought to myself, if only Whitney Houston had a dry car, she would still be alive today. Oh. 